Okay guys, welcome back to Rum Pep Bath and Beauty's Soap Kitchen. Today we are making our men's shaving soap. I only have one bar left. I didn't realize I had pretty much sold out of it. Um, these oils and butters are very, very dark because there is a tablespoon of bentonite clay in there. There is also powdered heavy cream. Now this shaving soap is one that you would use with a bristle, bristle brush. My husband and I both have boar's hair bristle, bristle brushes. Whew, if I could speak English today. Um, and they work fantastic. I do um, have bristle brushes on my website. They are um, a synthetic blend. They're not the greatest brush, but they would get you through until you know you could get a better brush. Um, they are sold separately from the shaving soap. So I just wanted to say this, or to say that, that they're sold separately. Um, this uh, shaving soap, I gotta get gloves, that would be helpful, is going to be scented in Sharp Dressed Man. And because it is a shaving soap, um, this is 25 ounces of oils. <clears throat> because it is a, a shaving soap, I put less than half an ounce of fragrance in it. Um, I don't want it to be overpowering on a man's face. I don't want the fragrance to irritate the skin or anything like that. So we will go ahead and get started mixing this. My lye water is made out of um, mostly aloe vera juice. Um, there's a little bit of distilled water in it, but you'll be able to see the difference. Here, let me show you. The difference in the color of, of it, it's mostly aloe vera juice. And there is salt and sugar in there as well. Of course, you know, sodium hydroxide. And because Sharp Dress Man um, rices, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to blend it when I blend the lye water and soap all together. I'm going to pour my fragrance in there so I don't got to worry about the ricing issue. Like I said, it's less than half an ounce. It's about um, 0.4 ounces that I use. So let's get this going. Let's get Freddie put together here. Okay, and I do still add yogurt to this recipe. The yogurt helps to make it a harder bar. It also helps the bubbles are big and huge and fluffy. It is fantastic. This is uh what I shave with all the time. My husband um, does have a bar and he does shave with it, but he prefers his uh, I Adore Me Amore, the avocado cucumber soap. He prefers to shave with that one. But I love this recipe. This recipe is fantastic. Next week we're going to make the women's, by the way. Okay, let me get this mixed in. Okay, let's get this all cleaned off. This makes for a very, very, very hard bar of soap, too, by the way. I mean, like, you could, like, throw it across the room and it wouldn't dent or anything. It's amazing. Okay. And because this is our men's, I am putting a little bit of activated charcoal in this we're gonna do an in the pot swirl well it's already heating up on me which it does do with this particular recipe um, shaving soaps need to be pretty high and uh, I mean there's you know steric acid in it so okay there we go get this all mixed in. 
Oh, I need to take my spatula out of there. That would be helpful. And we're gonna, from up high, and you're gonna see me do something I've never done before. Oh, can you even see that? Sorry. I apologize. When I do an in the pot swirl, I never do the swirling part, part but I am going to do the swirling part today. Okay. Now because this is a puck mold, um, I use, oh, you can't even see the top of it. I have a uh, two, I think it's two and a quarter inch PVC pipe that I will be pouring this into and I line it with the plastic um, cutting mats that you can buy the at the dollar store. The bottom of it has some freezer paper to catch all the bottom and I'm sorry you're not going to be able to see me pour this in here. This is getting really really thick. Can you hear that plopping in there? That's terrible. Woo! And I'm going to have to slam this on the ground. At least my women's soap, my women's shaving soap that I'm going to make next week doesn't do this. Because I am like almost out of that too. I just bought a bar for myself uh, two days ago. That's how I realized we were almost completely out of our men's as we only have two bars of our women's since I bought one. And yes, I know that sounds kind of strange that I buy my own product, but I do. <laughs> okay, I'm going to have to slam this down on the floor. try to get some of this soap off the side where it didn't go. One more time. I just don't want to sh jiggle you guys. Now this soap only needs to stay in the mold for about, I don't know, 10 to 12 hours, but I'm going to leave it, um, until tomorrow afternoon so um, we'll see how it goes from there and like I said I will cut it with you guys and you will see how it looks I will see you later hey guys we are back to cut our men's shaving soap I'm gonna turn you just a little bit there we go I'm gonna take off an end piece here And just like I did with um, the women's shaving soap, in case you missed that, um, I grabbed my husband's um, shaving soap that is this type of shaving soap so I can show you how well it works, how well it lathers and that kind of thing. Um, the one that I made for him, it's the same recipe. Um, the only difference is his is scented with lime essential oil. And these are cut uh, inch and a quarter. So they're quite large bars. So they're definitely large. Last you a really long time. Um, they, I keep mine in a, I said this, last week with the man eater I keep mine in a Star Wars coffee cup but it does not fit in a standard coffee cup um, the diameter is too big so what I did was I took a cookie cutter and um, pushed it down on there and then you put all the you know the pieces on the top of it so This smells so good. I love this dupe of Justin Timberlake's 
suit and tie. It is so fantastic. Sharp Dress Man is so fantastic. And if you smelled it, you'd know. I mean, definitely the, the song that, it's, that inspires the title, it definitely goes with it. It definitely is one of those those soaps that you get why we called it that. Or should I say why Christopher called it that? Because Christopher names all of our <laughs> all of our men's soaps. So okay, this is the last one. I'm just taking a little bit off of there. There we go. And look at that, doesn't that look so cool? It looks like a tree ring. That is so awesome. Okay, so I will um, be back and show you how these work. Okay, guys, this is the cup that my, oh, I can't even get it out of there. This is the cup that my husband uses for his shaving soap. And we have boar's hair bristle brushes. Um, this is the brush that I sell on the website in case you don't have a brush. It's synthetic. But it works um, until you can get a better brush. You know, it's cheap. I don't, you know, it's not expensive. But all you do with this, I'm going to let my water get hot. All I do is get this wet. That's all you really got to do. Get this wet. And it gets bubbly. I'll put it on my hands. I'm not sure how well you can see all those those bubbles. Look at that. Look at that. How gorgeous is that? And it's so silky and smooth and absolutely gorgeous. Okay, let me show you with the brush that you can buy on my website. Hopefully you just heard what I said. <laughs> Um, with the air conditioner going and my sink going, I'm not sure if you heard it. This is the, I'm going to show you how it works with the brush that you can buy on my website. So all you got to do is just get it wet. And again, it's just all this thick, rich lather. It's absolutely gorgeous. I hope you can see how well that's lathering. I can't really tell. So, but it is, it's, and, it, and it's so soft and lovely. All that bentonite clay gives it such a great slip. So, yeah, I'm going <laughs> to wash my hands here and then uh, I will let y'all go. So, you guys have a great week. I'll see you next week.